One of the best parts about this course, this property, is its location. Being up here in Rim Country in Arizona, um, we're at about 5,000 feet and we have beautiful tall pine trees and that wildlife. For the most part, we have um, wildlife that's nice to look at. We see coyotes and ducks and geese, um, but uh, problematic wildlife for us is elk and uh, javelina. They actually do more damage than than good to our golf course. A lot of people like to see them around, but don't uh, appreciate the uh, trouble that they cause for us and for the maintenance team. Elk, obviously they eat grass all night and they make a mess with their droppings that need to be picked up by hand. We use shovels to pick it up and to get it off the golf course. Um, when they walk across the green, they actually do a lot of damage um, that we have to fix. We use screwdrivers to pull up their prints and marks and try and get it leveled out before we can mow. If we don't do that, then uh, we end up scalping the greens. With the elk, we actually have a wooden elk fence around the perimeter of the property and it helps keep them out. Uh, we've seen them follow cars in through the gate, so it's not 100% effective, but if we didn't have the fence around the property, it would be a lot more. Any given time, we seem to have anywhere from five to 10 elk in here, um, but it, would, it could be you know, upwards of 80 to 100 if we didn't have it in here. When we do get a big break in the fence, um, whether a tree falls and breaks the fence or we've had cars run off the road through it, we get it fixed up and then uh, we have some cowboys that we call in and, and they uh, round them up. Um, I guess they behave a lot like cattle, so they're able to push them out. The javelina, there's not a whole lot we can do. Um, they're considered big game and can't really hunt them. So uh, we try to uh, relocate them. We have live catch uh, traps. We try to catch them and get them off the property. Javelina damage, you can see right here, uh, all winter long, they kind of settle in and they come out at night and toss up the turf. And it's generally in the, t in the winter when we can't do anything to get it to heal, to recover. So we kind of got to look at it all winter and it causes big problems. We just try and clean it up so that it looks best um, uh, aesthetically. Um, but once uh, grass starts growing, uh, then we can actually pull up the pieces and uh, try and save what we can. We, sand and seeded or in the fairways like this spot here, we'll be cutting all that out, leveling it out and putting sod in there in the coming weeks. We've got to just kind of figure out a way to uh, live with them. Um, they are beautiful animals um, and we do do things that, you know, are conducive to keeping some wildlife around. We have uh, reeds in, on, in some yep. ponds and stuff that we keep up so that birds can have that for a habitat. We have a couple dead trees that we are not cutting down. Woodpeckers live in them. It makes for a nice ambiance to hear all the birds flying around and even like in the fall, the bugling elk is great to have around and it's a beautiful place.